Everyone sends texts to one another. Everyone has messages. It's usually, I think, I mean, in my world, I, I don't usually argue via text message. I, I think that's not appropriate. Um, I don't try to torture anybody with text messages or send things that are going to upset people. But some people, that's their MO. That's how they that's how they get their excitement. Uh, this next story is a extreme version of it. And then I think also goes in to start questioning uh, at what point are you committing a crime uh, by torturing someone so much with what your messages are that they end up taking their own life? Uh, this is not the story of the teenage girl that did that, that went on trial. Uh, I forget her name, but that was something that took place a little while Oh, her while name ago. was Michelle Carter. Michelle Carter. I remember watching mm-hmm. a doc about mm-hmm. that and uh, where she encouraged the boyfriend to just kill himself, and he did. Uh, this he is did. This is a and different this is one. very much like that. A woman is charged after sending disturbing messages to boyfriend, uh, resulting in his suicide. Madeline, or Maddie, rather, Roy, a 35-year-old woman from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, has been arrested and charged with aiding suicide and harassment following allegations that she sent explicit and deeply troubling messages to her strange boyfriend, Kevin Metzger. The messages uh, were said to have encouraged Metzger to take his own life which tragically occurred as a result. The charges against uh, Roysha were uh, announced by Westmoreland County District Attorney Nicole Zicarari. According to the online court records, uh, Roysha could not post the $150,000 bail after her arraignment recently and has since been remanded to the Westmoreland County Prison, a preliminary hearing set for June 27th on this. The victim is Kevin Metzger. He's 37. He had a child with uh, with Royce. Details of their uh, strained relationship were outlined in a criminal complaint filed by the state police. Metzger's life ended on June 18th of 2021 when he took his own life in his apartment. Authorities found a letter and disturbing Facebook posts containing explicit messages. In the messages, Royce repeat, repeatedly encouraged Metzger to end his life and threatened to keep their child away. District Attorney uh, Zach, uh, Zach Carly, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, uh, commented on their tragic outcome. Mr. Metzger may still be here today if those messages did not influence and encourage him to take his own life. These messages from Mr. Metzger's estranged girlfriend were continuous and unrelenting for months until it finally stopped with the victim taking his own life. According to court documents followed by state police, the messages started on May 5th, 2021, while Metzger was away for military training. Uh, leaving uh, Royce home with their daughter. Royce began using the WhatsApp to send messages to Metzger, stating that she was moving in with another man who would take on the role of their daughter's new father. This is while he's in training to -hmm. be in the military. She then went on to declare that Metzger would never see his child again. These messages quickly escalated into very vicious messages with Royce expressing her intentions to engage in sexual activities with her new boyfriend on Mother's Day, while Metzger's daughter would refer to him as daddy. What is wrong with this person? This is me. Isn't that she, sick? This is evil. Royce's messages grew increasingly angry as she told Metzger he would burn in hell and that she would dance on his grave. In one instance, when Metzger sent her $2,000, Royce complained that it wasn't enough and retaliated by sending him a video of herself engaged in sexual activity with another man. Accompanied by the news that she had destroyed his belongings and left uh, their shared home. Metzger reported Royce's harassment to the Irwin police, who cautioned her to cease her messages and eventually charged her with harassment on June 3rd, 2021. However, these charges were dropped following Metzger's tragic death. State police investigators uncovered additional messages from 2020 in which Royce told Metzger to go kill yourself. He claimed he was not a true, uh, claimed that he was not a true human. They also discovered references to a possible $250,000 insurance policy two days before Father's Day on June 18th, 2021. A uh, concerned friend of Metzger's contacted the police for a welfare check when they were unable to reach him. State police arrived at Metzger's residence only to find him deceased. Investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death revealed that Metzger had informed Royce that uh, she would uh, not be permitted to see their daughter on Father's Day on June 18th. He messaged her telling he was uh, posting their exchanges online. Metzger also shared Royce's messages with another friend on June 18th and asked her to make sure to get 
uh, th that this gets known to the world, police said. After Metzger's death, uh, a search discovered that WhatsApp and Royce's account had been deleted from her cell phone. This is just the epitome of cruel. This is evil. This is evil behavior. This is insanely narcissistic, uh, probably borderline something else. But why? Why would anyone treat someone this way? I don't know. And so often when people break up and there's a child involved, so their lives are going to be connected forever. Rather than do the right thing, what's right for the child, they end up just hating each other and just being horrible. This takes that to even a different level. You know, this is just, this is absolutely hateful. It's evil. It's like she was trying to just push him and push him and push him and push him. Well, what's the other side to the story? Was he some sort of horrible human being? I mean, from what we know, it certainly doesn't sound like it. It just sounds like she's a vengeful human being who wanted to move on with her life, but it's going to take 50 other steps in the wrong direction to get that accomplished where everyone else would look at this and go, why don't you just, you know, get divorced, break up, move in figure and, out, and, and figure, figure out custody. Yeah. Do your thing in your own way. But, but to, to do this, this is what we see a lot though in narcissists uh, is, and I was just talking with Robin Drake about this uh, earlier today. Um, who's you'll hear that interview is in my observation of, of working with narcissists or living with uh, one for quite a while. Uh, it was, very much when you need that person needed to go from point A to point B, they would first hit J, Q, and Z before getting to point B. And you look at it and go, why did you take such a, a bizarre path to, to get there? And they'll look at you like you're crazy. It's like, well, that's how you do it. That's how you, that's where you have to go. And they'll never understand when you point out, well, actually, no, it's like right here. It's all you have to do. Um, they'll end up going in several very bizarre directions, but but have be so dug into that being the correct path that they'll go there. I think sometimes we see this uh, where there's a murder involved and that narcissistic brain thinks that, yes, I have to do all these other things to really end this marriage or end this relationship when, no, you really don't. You're causing yourself so many more problems. You're causing problems for everybody else. What are you doing? And it was as if she her intent was to push him, push him, push him until he did what he did or until he just loses it. Because you can't be pushed like that without no. at some point pushing back in some way. You just can't let somebody... And if you do push back in some way on these people, they know that they have you trained to not push back at them because it will be hell to pay if you do, far worse than the hell you're already enduring. So, it, I mean, it's a, the, the easiest thing is you look on the outside and just go, why didn't he just leave her? Why didn't he just say, you know, this isn't worth it, but. And he did, like he had left her. She's with this yeah. other guy. He's yeah. doing his military duty mm -hmm. and she's sending him all this shit. Like he's not even right now, anybody who can even drive by your house. No. Like, uh, why are you pushing him like that? So my guess is there's a lot of these messages that for them to charge her, yeah, there's a lot. And that girl, Michelle Carter, who was found guilty, she was sentenced to two and a half years. And hers was very, that case was very much, she was definitely saying, go ahead and kill yourself. You know, mm -hmm. she was pushing him and telling him to do that. This is I different. This that, seems more. This is different. This is almost like, trying to make him go crazy mm -hmm. and do something very and do what he did. Yeah. It's narcissistic abuse uh, at a very extreme level. Um, gosh, I, I can only say, I hope she gets the strictest punishment possible. This is the hidden killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple podcasts and get an ad free experience. When you sign up to be a true crime today, premium plus member exclusively on Apple podcasts More of the hidden killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.